Now, as you can see, I've got a sketch of the graph then of y equals f of x. And what we've got to do then is sketch this graph, y equals f of all of x plus 3. So what would this do to any graph? Well, it would translate it three units parallel to the x-axis in a negative direction. So in other words, we've got to take this curve and slide it to the left three units. So what's it going to look like? Well, this point here, for instance, if we slide the graph three units to the left, is going to end up at the origin. And we have to mark in the max and minimum coordinates for the new curve. So what would this point here be? Well, originally it was at the origin, so if we've shifted it back three units, this point here is going to be at minus three comma zero. So that's the coordinates of the maximum point. And as for the minimum point here, if that went three units back in this direction, then its coordinates are going to be minus one, minus one. All right, that would be that point on the curve. Okay, well, let's remove this graph and then hopefully you can see a clearer view. So there you have it, the graph then of y equals f of all of x plus 3. And that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.